and Bullen. Born in 1501 or 1507, die on May 19, 1536, was Queen of England from 1533 to 1536 as the second wife of King Henry VIII. The circumstances of her marriage and of her execution by beheading for treason and other charges made her a key figure in the political and religious upheaval that marked the start of the English Reformation, and was the daughter of Thomas Bullen, 1st Earl of Wiltshire, and his wife, Elizabeth Howard, and was educated in the Netherlands and France largely as a maid of honor to Queen Claude of France, and returned to England in early 1522 to marry her Irish cousin James Butler, 9th Earl of Ormond. The marriage plans were broken off, and instead, she secured a post at court as maid of honor to Henry VIII's wife, Catherine of Aragon, early in 1523, and was secretly betrothed to Henry Percy, son of Henry Percy, 5th Earl of Northumberland, but the betrothal was broken off when the Earl refused to support their engagement. Cardinal Thomas Wolsey refused the match in January 1524 and in was sent home to Hever Castle. In February or March 1526, Henry VIII began his pursuit of Anne. She resisted his attempts to seduce her, refusing to become his mistress, as her sister Mary had previously been. Henry soon focused his desires on annulling his marriage to Catherine so he would be free to marry Anne. After Wolsey failed to obtain an annulment of Henry's marriage from Pope Clement VII, it became clear that the marriage would not be annulled by the Catholic Church. As a result, Henry and his advisors, such as Thomas Cromwell, began the breaking of the Church's power in England and closing the monasteries and the nunneries. In 1532, Henry made in the Marquess of Pembroke in her own right. Henry and informally married on January 25, 1533, after a secret wedding on November 14, 1532. On May 23, 1533, the newly appointed Archbishop of Canterbury Thomas Cramer declared Henry and Catherine's marriage null and void. Five days later, he declared Henry and Anne's marriage valid. Shortly afterwards, Clement excommunicated Henry and Cramer. As a result of this marriage and these excommunications, the first break between the Church of England and the Catholic Church took place and the King took control of the Church of England and was crowned Queen of England on June 1, 1533. On September 7, she gave birth to the future Queen Elizabeth I. Henry was disappointed to have a daughter rather than a son, but hoped a son would follow and profess to love Elizabeth, and subsequently had three miscarriages and by March 1536, Henry was courting Jane Seymour. Henry VIII had an investigated for high treason in April 1536. On May 2, she was arrested and sent to the Tower of London, where she was tried before a jury of peers, including Henry Percy, her former betrothed, and her uncle Thomas Howard, 3rd Duke of Norfolk. She was convicted on May 15 and beheaded four days later. Modern historians view the charges against her, which included adultery, incest with her brother George, and plotting to kill the king as unconvincing. After her daughter, Elizabeth, became queen in 1558 and became venerated as a martyr and heroine of the English Reformation, particularly through the written works of George Wyatt. She has inspired or been mentioned in many artistic and cultural works and retained her hold on the popular imagination. She has been called the most influential and important queen consort England has ever had, as she provided the occasion for Henry VIII to annul his marriage to Catherine of Aragon and declare the English Church's independence from the Vatican. Thanks for watching her story channel. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe our channel.